for today's cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. The energy has just, it's <clears throat> doing a number on me, I will tell you it's this. It's foul. Miss Foul. There was another X flare at some point. On I did X? Put, I, as far as I did post to, to X, uh, Stefan Barnes his thing about it and it's just when you said x flare i was like oh lord what has x done now x it's yeah it's significant i don't know maybe it's two 11s crossed maybe that's the whole thing about the 11s (laughs) speaking of the 11s and the 22s and 333s and all that shit today i saw 111 on the clock of course you did bb pointed it out Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then yesterday I was watching a Melanie Martinez concert, and two things popped up when I was searching through it. I my cursor landed exactly on eleven eleven on one eleven, mm-hmm. and the other one was exactly on two twenty two. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it was like, just like shit on on Stephon Barnes. What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> something on the uh, on his video today. That it was whatever it was, 11. And you were asking me, what is the 11? It's like, I don't know. But it was there. I don't know if it was the... It wasn't the Sunspot group. I don't know exactly what it was. But it's just like, well, shit. There I it didn't is. know if they correlated to uh, Bible verses or what. No, no. And it could be. It was 211 on one of the things that's around... Uh, what have I got here on timestamp? Four eleven. God. <laughs> so you can't make this shit up. No. We just don't know what it means. Yeah. Apparently they're angel numbers and it's like, you know, they're trying to talk to us and all that. And but it's like it's cryptic. We don't know what the fuck this we means. Need, we don't do math well. I will tell you this. We don't we need do well with numbers. Those angels. We need those angels. We do. Big we do. time. Big time because it is shit is getting crazy, and I, that's another reason I like Stefan Burns so much is because he makes the correlation between the planetary alignments and how it's affecting humans. Let me tell you, the inner, like you said, the energy is just fucked, and it feels oh, like you, I've been maddening. associated basically all day. Yeah, I mean, it's just same. I'm physically here but i'm i don't know where i am mentally but it's just like <laughs> yeah that's like earlier i was out <sighs> and about and i was telling you i felt like i'm one foot in and one foot mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. i'm walking between realms right now right and, and it, it was, was like that disassociation thing and it's interesting because within certain communities there's lingo within certain communities which is like oh you're part of us and you're this and somebody had asked a question because the solar flares and different things like that can cause different physical symptoms symptoms in different people Mm -hmm. that's the reason that he urges people as far as grounding techniques and stuff and then we learn these things we pass these things on to other people and even as far as the potatoes Mm mm-hmm which, yeah, there was other people that was talking about, which makes perfect sense. It's root crops. Eat that when you've got this. And it'll what help. about carrots? Does it grow beneath the earth? It's a root yes. crop. That's a root crop. <laughs> carrots are grounded. Oh, my hair hurts. <laughs> That's why I'm here on this earth. Just oh, to... Oh, God. <laughs> Anyhow. Just there to fuck was, with people. There was somebody that had asked a legitimate question about, because, you know, you, you've got people that are new to different forms of thought. They may have just found a channel. They may not, you know. If somebody asks a logical question, they deserve a logical response. Mm-hmm. And to have this almost l- listen to the voices within you, the what the fuck does that mean? You know, what if somebody has got some schizophrenia? No, don't listen to those voices. I think what they... What some of them should mean is like, listen to that spirit. Listen to your gut. Listen S- to sometimes. the Holy Spirit. Sometimes. But it's sometimes you have to teach people how to do these things. And that bullshit New Age response. The answer is within you. 
Well, if the answer was within me, if I knew the answer, I wouldn't have wasted their time and mine by asking the question. How do you get those answers? Meditation. Like I said, that is one of those answers that is maddening. It does nothing. I think it's a form of gaslighting. If you don't know the answer, just say, I don't know. We'll help you search for an answer. If you don't know something, what I've learned, seriously, it's meditation and prayer. And usually those go hand in hand. On a lot of it. And sometimes it is a matter of a damn Google search. Yeah. That's a tool. It's that simple. And so, you know, as far as just to respond to this person to sit there and go, I do understand. Mm -hmm. Because I've had chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, all this shit since the 80s. Yes, I do, as far as when we have some of the geomagnetic storms, have an increase in pain. A lot of people do. It can cause the brain fog. It can cause a lot of weirdness. And to share with her, again, it's like, look, he explained a few cup, not a few cups, a few videos back Mm -hmm. as far as the grounding techniques and the potatoes. A potato is a simple answer to sit there and go, you can take NSAIDs, you can use ashwagandha, or to sit there and go, these are things that help me. Because you have to put everything in fucking binary code in speech. It, it's like that from uh, Labyrinth. Say the right words. And, and Say it's the just, right words, the goblin oh said. Oh my God, my brain is broken. And I think that's what's wrong with me today. My brain has just broken. Finally. It's just autistic speak. And it's like, it's crazy. It is absolutely. And those of us at Gen X were like, what the hell is wrong with y'all? I mean, honestly. Autism. (sighs) Spectrum. We are on the spectrum. But when I gave this individual some honest answers... And she came back and she was very gracious and she's like, thank you. Mm -hmm. And and there was somebody else that had the question and the same thing. It's like this answered my questions. No problem. I had this knowledge. Didn't have all the knowledge, but I had some. Yeah. What was it? What? What what, what did they ask and what was? About the, that they were having an increase in pain. Okay. This is what, that was the whole first thing. Five, five Mama, what part of disassociation <laughs> you talk about that all day while other people are going through it too? Oh God, and, and it's just it's been one of those days, and and it's like <sighs> this is the problem. If I hadn't been on social media, it would have been everywhere because everybody is so. What's the word I'm, I'm looking for? Escalated. I mean, everything is volatile. And that is with the geomagnetic storms and the planetary alignments. Volatility is everywhere. Yeah. And so I, I was discussing on on X with somebody. It's like right now with how the collective consciousness is, the planetary alignments, I would not want to be physically near some place that's got a fault line volcano urban environment none of that stuff because i thoroughly believe that within these urban environments some of that negativity cannot discharge like it does in a rural area where you've got actual earth that's exactly what it is because in those urban environments it's just one big concrete jungle Uh that's like And I got to go back over to that town. It's a city at some point. Yeah. And it's like, oh, Lord, please pray for me when I do. Well, and it's one of those you need. That's like the whole time I'm there, I'm praying. You really need to pay attention to uh, some of the things that like Robert Phoenix is saying, some things that Stefan Burns is saying, other people, because knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. (sighs) And one of the things that knowledge is power about is one of the oldest strategies as far as warfare and that is divide and conquer and we're seeing this there will be a moment of unity that is amazing and 
beautiful and brilliant, and then the devil will step in. Well, that's what he does. He does steal, yeah. ki- steal, kill, and and divide and destroy. destroy. And that was uh, one of the things as far as just typing in and their own Quera. Is that it? Quora, Quera, whatever it I is. I just, just call it Quora. And, and it, as far you know, as the Sun Tzu's Art Tomorrow. of War and Divide and Conquer. Yes, that is one of the things. And somebody had translated it here and it said in chapter 6 on strengths and weaknesses, we should unite as one while the enemy is divided into 10 parts using our united one to attack the enemy, one-tenth and hence achieve uh, we are large against their smile. This has been used against people's yeah. All peoples, uh-huh. the whole earth peoples, <clears throat> because we're not, ultimately, we're not fighting flesh and blood. We are fighting spiritual forces. Yeah. Yeah. It's full on just spiritual force, <clears throat> spiritual battles. Uh huh. And that was just like I had watched, because politics is basically sports for nerds. It is. <laughs> so watching and i it's one of those sometimes i will be led to watch something whether i want to actually watch it or not and like i said at the uh republican national convention the previous night and that was on the 15th on july 15th and it was wonderful mm-hmm. they had such good speakers and there was this as far as unity and you had people that are waking up and they're like, hey, we've realized we're being lied to. And it's like, hey, can can we come and join y'all? And, and we're like, yes. Yes. Yeah. And there's always, there has to be at least one turd in the punch bowl. And I know that's a disgusting <laughs> term. But it fits. Yeah. And when you have some of these people, with power comes responsibility. And a lot of times these influencers, I don't know whether they don't realize how much power they have or whether they misuse that or they're just flat out dumbasses. I don't know. And it's like, in this moment of wonderful unity, entered Matt Walsh. And what he had had said, again, we've talked about him before. And it's like, he had said something really vile about one of the ladies that had spoken and that she had been... Over on, you know, as far as the liberal side, it doesn't matter what you call themselves. And I thought, everybody is is ass-blasting him, and rightfully so. Good. Yeah. And I will tell you this, and I did put this on one of the people that's sort of popular within certain circles and stuff. I'm like, people like Matt Walsh is why I don't do organized religion because i've tried it before i really have for years well, the thing is we aren't even really even supposed to do organized religion because with organized religion a lot of bad comes from mm-hmm. it most of the time mm-hmm. yep 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 and that's the reason as far as to call ourselves believers or followers of christ a lot of times i won't even use the term christian because that has been so misused and so many people have been wounded by those misusing the name of Christ that I don't want to add to that. Mm -hmm. But it was like, I'm thinking, what is wrong with him? And again, it's the same thing. I don't care what you call yourself. If you've got hate in your heart and all this stuff is being revealed... Yeah. It truly is being revealed. And it just, again, with the sifting, all this stuff, 
or, or a lot of times it's it's a matter of gold refining gold and it to refine gold you have to put it in a crucible and you heat it and when you heat it and i'm sure that that's not a fun process and there it does talk about trials by fire all that the impurities which is called the dross comes to the top so that that can be scraped off because those impurities can cause weakness in the gold gold is is soft itself but as far as the value of it if it has those impurities and stuff it lessens the value mm -hmm. and so that very much could be what's going on now could be just the purification of the gold mm -hmm. but it's like there are some people like i said i don't care if you call yourself a cardboard box I if identify as an attack helicopter. You're really, oh God. This is a time that people could sit there and, and especially when you've got other people calling you out going, dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. Is it a matter of him repenting, humbling himself and repenting and try and make apology or will he double down? That's his choice. Only time will tell. Yeah. I know that as of today, he had doubled down. And it's interesting oh. also because some of these people that are not used to having consequences for their opinions, their actions, you can have any opinion that you want. But when you put that opinion out there to where other people can read it, hear it, whatever, expect to have blowback because other people have the right to speak too that's how that goes yes yes and so some of these people people are where oh, i think a lot of people have reached a limit trying to be empathetic no, that's and understanding and they're just done well yeah everybody has their limits yeah it can only go so far and again because we this, are not god no no we are not but it's also a matter to control the emotions so that you can respond rather than a knee-jerk reaction yeah respond with a level head and calmness and there's been several times today i thought i'm gonna I'm going to type, and my little fingers was ready, and I backed off. I know that. <laughs> I backed off, and I breathed, and I prayed, and I deleted. It wasn't that I was doing saying anything horrible. I was like, before I went to town, I was, I was, I logged into X, and I was about to blast someone. It's and pointless. it was just like, I did what you did, and it was mm -hmm. just like, Nope, nope, not gonna nope. do it. Not gonna do it. And that would put is, shame on. That would. That would. Me as a Christian, that would not show that in a good light. Exactly. I'm not doing that. And that was one of the things about Matt Walsh about he, he, that holier than thou attitude. Mm hmm. And Scripture says, if you don't have His love in your heart, you're none of His. Yeah. And it says, judge not, lest you be judged. And when you, you've made your platform or whatever, and, and a large part of that <clears throat> is using Christ's name, and yet you dare call another human being a slut. Uh, no. You know, I remember a story about that they had dragged a woman who was caught in the act of adultery, which makes you really wonder, and it's like, where was the man that he wasn't dragged out? And by their law, that they could have stoned her to death. That was the law, legally. And that Christ paused, and he wrote in the sand. And it didn't say what it, they wrote. And he, he looked at those people, he said, Whoever is without sin, be the one to cast the first stone. 
Now, personally, I believe that what he was writing in the, in the dirt or in the sand was the sins of all those men who were accusing that woman. Yep. That's more than likely what was being wrote. And he said, woman, and all the other ones, they left. And he went to her and he said, woman, where are your accusers? And she looked up and they were gone. And he said, neither do I accuse you. Go and sin no more. Now, we don't know why she did what she did. You know, she could have been a prostitute for all for a long time. I mean, that's one of the big ten. Do not commit adultery because that that's a wounding unlike anything else. Yeah, it is. But when you set yourself up above God, there's a problem. And any of these, this is why, like I said, I don't do organized religion. And there's been many reasons, and maybe it's just because I have oppositional defiant disorder. Maybe it's because when somebody's ignorant and they're trying to teach other people, that bothers me. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, and y'all are welcome to say, Orlando, honey, you missing the boat. Because is the boat some... in the chat? <laughs> Where is the pirate ship? This is a ghost pirate ship. Yeah, and we we sell on the some... Flying Dutchman's we... ship that has been beat the fuck up because yeah. SpongeBob and Patrick just tore it up through the yeah. rocks. Yeah, but we are sailing in turbulent waters, and this is why that I very much appreciate those who take the time to listen. Yeah, and, and share with us. I truly do. You're good, you're good, you're good, and stop. <laughs> Don't worry, Captain, we'll buff out the scratches. <sighs> but just be aware of what's going on. Like I said, I, I did post uh, the, the newest one by Stefan Barnes. And these, some of these solar flares, and an X class is big. And so that... I don't know. It's usually a couple of days or whatever before it hits Earth. But he was also talking about proton storms, and those can hit before the other things. Loves it. Yeah. Be aware of that. Be aware of the planetary alignments. And Blue's birthday is on the 21st. Blue, I think there's a full moon that night. And they've, you know, sort of a heads up on that. If, if something is coming... If dross within yourself is being brought up to, to look at it and go, is this really who I want to be? Can I get rid of this? And can I get rid of that? And, you know, mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of that. People, you know, and I've challenged some people, not in a bad way, to sit there and go, I am a this, I am a this, I'm a this. And I'm like, can we just go back to being Americans? Yeah. It was a simple question. Right. And all these fucking labels people are trying to put on to us, it's just like, just be simple. You're overcomplicating the Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. Again, with the binary code. Say the right words. Uh, no. <laughs> no. But if you have a channel... Okay, you yeah, that's it. If you have a channel... If you have some kind of platform, please be aware. You know, it's a matter. We need to speak words of unity and healing and helpfulness and encouragement. Because, my God, there are so many people that are experiencing severe loneliness We all need to just dress up as gnomes and raid shops. Yeah. I could do that. I could do that. I wouldn't, I mean. Hop around. I'm short enough to where I really wouldn't have to hop. Yeah, you could be the queen. (laughs) It's the troll doll. So, final thoughts, kid. Oh, that's it. (laughs) Words have amazing power. Watch what you say. Yeah. And, and through them, we can either be a blessing to others or we can be a curse to someone. See, I would rather be a blessing. 
Uh, yeah, most people would. Because also you don't know if you're entertaining angels or not. Right. So well, it's like, I don't want to piss off angels. These are real people. Yeah. They have feelings. Not everybody is going to agree on every single thing, and you don't want them to. And just because you don't agree with them, that doesn't have to co- go into a full-on argument. Right. Listen to people. Find out about their journey. And that was that was one of the things, a lot of these, uh, of course, I, you know, doing the mental health counselor to go in with the QMHP, which stood for Qualified Mental Health Professional. <laughs> it was a fancy term to say, yeah, she does not have a master's degree. <laughs> Fuck you, I didn't want one. You know? Just because someone doesn't have a master's degree does not mean they are but not well educated. I saw a lot subject. of people that they would go in with some of these kids and the families and different things like that and automatically start, oh, you need to do and you need to do and you need to do and you need to do. Mine was, show me what you're doing. Yeah. That's the proper healthy way to go about and stuff. It's like, okay, let's see what you do. There was something not right with some of the things that they were doing or they wouldn't have been having the problems they were having. Right. So it's like, okay, you've been doing this. Let's see what your options are. And to go in and say, look, this is your family. I'm just here to try to make suggestions Mm -hmm. to make things better. Because I knew I was just there for a very short period of time. But you took the job seriously. I did. And you tried to actually help. You tried to help. Yeah. Point blank period. Because I knew that at the end of the day, at the end of the life, I'm going to be accountable to God for what I did, what I didn't do, what I said, what I didn't say, how I said it, all that stuff. And no, God is not going to expect me to sit there and go binary code. He knows my heart. Yes. (laughs) He knew us before we were physical beings. Yeah. But it's just like walk in patience and love. But as far as some of these people that have been allowed to continue on with negative behavior and words and stuff like that, and nobody wanted to say anything back to them. mm -mm. And that was the thing. Those people that are speaking out. If they were led to speak out, let it go. Yeah. You don't have to be the one. If you are the one, then have the balls to do it. Listen, we we just watched someone like, we just watched dude talk about gay furries hacking NATO. Yeah. Yeah, that was Mudahar. If you don't, if you don't watch some ordinary gamers, Mudahar always has something that is most interesting. I love him. <sighs> So, if you that's had, some shit right there. Yeah, really. That's the world we're living in right now. Yeah, you can't make this shit up. If you've had experiences with paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, ten full hats, I started to say oh! <laughs> with the paranoid. I think everybody's well, having some experiences with paranoid right now. Uh, I, uh, I will tell it's you, it's not this. just us. It's not just me. I will tell you this, over the past few days, Alex thinking? Jones has been vindicated and more will come. Watch it. Yeah. Wait for it. Just yeah. wait for it. Yeah. And somebody had said had something about it. It was a box of tin foil on the, as far as Alex Jones endorsement. And I'm like, I would buy a box of that. So I'm encouraging that. So that's why me has, shit posting. Why so. has no one made a, an indestructible tin foil hat? Oh. <sighs> But I thought it was a great idea. Yeah. Go ahead and... I'll cut the copy screen, gmail.com. If you want to, yeah. if you want to email her and recommend some stories. And hopefully I won't delete it. It's like, oh God. You need brain. like a... You my need brain. Me, how about you make like a separate email for that? I do have a separate email for that. Oh. Oh. It's cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. <laughs> And do you use that for other stuff too? Do your spiel. Do Subscribe, your spiel. like, share, comment. Check her out on Bitshoot and Rumble if you are not already watching us on those platforms. Also, check her out on X. Follow her on X, previously known as Twitter. 
Orlando C O C W S. It's literally one the fuck. Orlando's <laughs> cup of coffee with scream just abbreviated. Oh. It's like a radio station call sign. Go check her out. Yeah, I'll put zombies red bubble shop thing on there. I'm still fighting red. I didn't have enough brain to fight red bubble, but he's got some designs it on there. It banned you for a day and- though. They did. That's why I've got to fight them. I think it was because I tried to log in because they, they were doing the stupid. No, that's exactly what that's exactly what it is because they do do that stupid. Even if you put in the correct password, it will still yes, fight you. That's exactly what happened, and I'm like, "What the fuck is that?" They don't got their shit in order. Anyhow, it's I'll a very vol- another volatile. It's a volatile website to use. I will put the link to his shop in there. He's he's getting his shop set up, and uh, he's got some really cool designs on there. Yeah, and so just ooh, ooh. know that you are loved. Know that you're loved. Yes, treat other people with respect, kindness, a little bit of decency. If you need to back off from humanity right now, I understand that. I am not. Phew, how about you get rid of your smartphones and stop spending all uh, your time on on X and our and people are older. We don't Instagram about and all that. that. Still, people need to get rid of their iPhones anyway. They track people. So everybody knows that. Flip our phones. bunch knows that flip already. Phones. All we need is call is text and calls. At the end of the day, that's it's, all we need. These grown ass people like make their own decisions. Mama, like we don't know if any Gen Zs watch us or not. You have lurkers. Maybe I doubt it, but anyhow. I'm here. How dare. Treat other people the way that you would like to be treated. D- uh, <sighs> but. <sighs> and Lord willing, we will see you on the next cup. Ah. Bye. Bye. Oh.